I don't like that. Take the face away. I don't like it at all. Speedy. Back at the precinct. April 9th, 1999, Friday. Office 24. 3.44 p.m. So this is quite a bit later. And it's Crimes Unit 1. Stake out to Unit 2's job. What the fuck are you talking about? You whiny bitch. How about you try working your delicate little ass off day after day, huh? Those are your duties, aren't they? The data you pick up isn't with dick. This forensic investigation bullshit is old news. Go ahead and investigate however you want. If you want to just waste time. Please just stop complaining. Complaining? Who the fuck is complaining? It's criticism. You're doing your goddamn job wrong. After now, we've collected 26 pieces of useful data. How about that? If you want accurate data, we'll need 10,000 samples. Do you understand? Do you? Do you want to do this for us? Data on 10,000 abandoned buildings and empty rooms? Are you going to find it for us? If so, then I'll handle the stake out for you. What? That's enough, Hachisuka. Fuck! Just shut the fuck up already. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You want us to handle the stake out, right? Fine, we'll do it. Let's go set up the stake here. Tetsu, a moment. Heinous Crimes Unit 2. Huh, what's up? I got this from Munakata. Munakata? That's rare. It's Kamui's hideout. For reals? My info is certain, yeah. And it's a love letter? Creepy. It was passed on. Sorry. Be careful. I'll take up the red. Let's meet up later. Got it. Sumio. Come on. Where'd it come from? That info. Doesn't fucking matter. Come on, let's move. It's a stake here. This is no time to mess around. Tetsu. Whatever. We sit here wasting time and he's gonna get away. But just hurry up. What about Bruce? I guess you're bringing me with you. Right? You don't have a choice. Still. Even now. Same day. Apartment. 4.07pm. At least it's a lovely day out. Nice blue sky and everything. My room. And we're in control. Oh, what do we got here? Contact point. That way. Oh, the computer. Contact. From unknown center to chinchilla. <laughs> Subject, no title. No title. I'm saying this out with as... I'm saying this without any hint of exaggeration, but I know you very well. I know where you are, what you're doing, what sort of man you are, what you're thinking, and even what you don't think about throughout the course of your everyday life. Out of concern for your own good, I offer a warning. It would be best to avoid sticking your nose into various matters right about now. In this world, knowing too much can cost one their very life. There is an amazing number of things for which the phrase ignorance is bliss holds utterly true. Please, be sure to keep this in mind. Take care. The bat is always watching. Creepy. Thanks, dude. Now I don't feel safe in my own home. No, I really don't. I'm, I'm leaving. Let's get back to work. <laughs> oh, contact point. Phone. Ahoy hoy. Hey, is that Big Dick? It's me. We've got an emergency. Get your ass to Babylon right away. It's Babylon. Got it? Cowboy's made a move. Just get there now. Babylon Shopping Center. Hurry. Alright, we're on a mission. So my idea is to do uh, one episode per chapter. But if it runs over an hour, then I'll split it into two pieces. And if it runs over two hours, then I'll split it into four pieces and so on. You know what I mean. But as long as it's under an hour, it'll just be one episode. Same day, Babylon Shopping Center. So there might be some long episodes here. 8.12pm. Closing up shop.
You making it? I'm stuck in traffic. I'll be there in a bit. Listen, we have no time. Move in ahead of me. Just don't do anything stupid. Got it. I'm counting on you, big dick. I can't even talk, man. <laughs> you can't trust me, I can't even fucking talk. Babylon, first floor. Mall Plaza. Do we explore the first floor or do we go upstairs? Big dick, you still alive? I forgot something. Babylon is currently closed for business. If the security system is working, then the shutter for the escalator to the second floor should be closed. But most security systems have panels for unlocking. Look for that. Work it out by the time I get there. Got it? Sure. Hey big dick, listen up. There's a woman being targeted by cowboy. I'll give you the details later. Take care of the broad, big dick. I'm counting on you. Oh my god, you can't leave me alone, can you? Big dick, it's me. I got some info on the broad. Listen up. I'm only gonna tell you once. Kane and Army, 23 years old. She was an underclassman in the Carmoys back when he was in art school. No idea how the fuck he did it, but he apparently lured her out of work. Assume me I was getting info on what she looks like. Talk later. Am I allowed to like... Oh my god. <laughs> Bruce, I have some info on that woman. I just did a quick search. I haven't found anything concrete on her. Tetsu's contacting her place of employment now. I'll contact you again. Hey Big Dick, it's me. I don't know if this will help, but I'll let you know what I found out. Kane and Ami were supposed to go out to beat some guys with some female co-workers tonight. Apparently these guys work for a really elite company, so she's got all doubled up. That's about it. For now, keep an eye out for a flashy look abroad. And you should find it. I mean, there's nobody here. All I have to do is keep an eye out for someone alive that exists and, you know, that'll be enough. Okay, Bruce, do you read me? With Tetsu's explanation, you'll never be able to get through that security. I'm obviously saying this once, so listen up. Apparently the security is being hacked by Unit 1. But according to Hachisuka, it's apparently going to be impossible to hack completely. The conditions I'm about to lay out are pretty much the limit. The numbers are a four-digit combination. The security code changes every time. Input the correct code in 20 tries or less. A red lamp means the number is correct, but in the wrong location. When a location and the number match, one green lamp will flash. When all four of the green lamps flash, it'll unlock. Quit wasting time with your fucking yapping. This will take me a bit longer. To summarize, just get all four green lamps on. Now get to it. Okay, so it's like that, uh, like, wordle, right? So three of the numbers are right, but in the wrong place. Okay. Let's do four, five... Six, seven. So one of the numbers is in there as well. So let's do four, one, two, three. Okay. Let's do O, one, two, five. That was better. Six. Okay, so that's five. Come on. There we go. Five oh two three, but they're all in the wrong place. Let's do oh five two three. Oh oh five three. Two. Really? Man, I wish I had a pen and paper right here. Oh. Speak of the devil. I know I could just press the button and it would work. But I don't want to do that. That's no fun. I did it by accident last time. Two, three, five, oh. Two of them are right. Two, three, oh, five. Try that. Yeah. 
Yeah, we did it. We didn't cheat. Even though it lets you totally do that just by pressing that button. I guess it's for people who don't like doing puzzles. Bruce, it's me. That stuff Tetsu said really doesn't help, does it? I found out she's how she's dressed tonight. She's wearing a red cocktail dress, black stockings, and a black coat. Finding a securing, securing her are our number one priorities. Get on it. Yes, I'm trying, man, but you guys don't shut the fuck up. How am I ever going to get on it if you guys keep talking? It's pretty impossible. Alright, second floor. I'd say there's a good chance this is going to end up being a two-part episode. I mean, we're not fucking around. Another new hassle. Looks like there's a civilian on the second floor. Secure them as soon as you find them. Don't you accidentally fucking shoot them. I'm not gonna shoot anyone, you asshole. Shithead. I'm not seeing much at this stage. Okay, there's this thing. It's not a contact point though, so I can't do anything with it. That looks like it might be something right. Is that one open? No. Have I done a full circuit already? I feel like I have. What am I looking for? Okay, well that's nice at all, but uh... Not super helpful. Oh there, that one's open. Did I walk past that a moment ago or did I not actually do a full circuit? Who knows? Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we? Bruce, did you find the civilian? Come down to the first floor once they're secured. Get on it. Jesus. Oh shit, how do I get back down? That's a good question, actually. I don't know how I got up here. Oh, here. The mystery remains. No, maybe not. It's gotta be one of these center areas though, right? It feels like it's not that big a circuit, but it actually takes quite a while to get around, so maybe it is a big circuit. Contact point. Okay, we can contact this now. The alarm has sounded. Cool, I guess. Is that a good thing? Am I just messing with everybody now? Is that how we roll? This is where we just came from a second ago. Either it's messing with me every time I go around or what, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's messing with me, game. Stop it. It's hard on my old brain. Where are we going now? Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me. I think that one says help me. Kamui is coming, Kamui is coming, Kamui is coming, Kamui is coming. Your Kamui. I am not, how dare you. How's it going? Search every nook and cranny. Don't overlook even the slightest change. Of what? What am I looking for? The fuck do you want from me, dude? There's nothing here. What the fuck? Okay, that took longer than expected. <laughs> Sadness. April 10th, 1999, Saturday. Office 24, 10, 10 a.m. So that's next day. We were there Friday, right? And this crime's unit two. So it's all gone to hell. 
Sorry. It was my fault. I was stupid to have entrusted it to an amateur. Don't worry about it, Bruce. It's not your fault. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I'm not blaming you. It's okay, Tetsu. You'll recover. Don't worry about it. I'm coming in. Boss. Sorry, old man. Go ahead and give him to me straight. Hmm. Well, you take a break. Go cool down a bit. Roger that. Anything we can do about it, boss? Nothing. We have to consider unit one, too. You are not going to freak out. Leave it to Sumio. Leave it, Sumio. Sumio, you take care of this witness. Take them along on the investigation. Got it. Tetsu, take Akemi outside once in a while. You don't often get to rest. I booked you a nice inn. <laughs> Go enjoy the hot springs. Old man. Heinous Crimes Unit 1. So here we are. This is all we can do. We don't have enough samples. Point D208. What about this? A place of connections to Carmel. They're concentrated in this area. What about here? Art Studio Gladius? Gladiolus, sorry. Way Hardy used to work here. Apart from this place, there are several other places he used to work. On his own? No. He and a woman named Ayami Shimohira used to work together. She's still working there. Lady Olus is open from 10am to 5pm. We can make it. You're going? Yeah. You shouldn't, you know. Why not? Why deepen her wounds further? What? You understand how she feels? That's rare for you, Hachisuka. I don't think you had feelings. We're close in age. It'd be risky to contact her carelessly, right? How are we supposed to investigate? What, you don't like how we do things in Unit 2? Each of our roles. We don't have time for shit like that. Especially with, how, with Tetsu here. Without Tetsu here. Right, Naka? Whatever you like. And apart from this Gladiolus, Cowboy is apparently involved in several other groups as well. If his name is attached to 11 different digital groups. What are the probabilities? If we focus on the Gladiolus art studio, chances of Kamui appearing are 1.289%. Pretty dire. Better than winning Lotto. <laughs> what do we do? Even so, Tetsu would go. Let's go, Bruce. You sure? I have a hunch. Excellent. If we go to Gladiolus. Same day. Studio Gladiolus. Leg work. Welcome. Ayami Shimohira, right? I'd like to talk to you about Cowboy Uehara. Detectives? So you just show up suddenly like that? Well, yeah. Detectives don't make appointments for this stuff. Huh. Um... Yes? Do you mind? Can we come in? Oh, yeah. You just let us in, me. Kamui Uehara. You know him, right? Of course. Do you know anything about the recent Kamui? No. You two used to work together. Aren't you somewhat close? We were just partners. We did trust each other, but that's it. Has there been contact? What sort of contact? From Kamui. Has there been contact? To me? Yes, you. Are you seriously asking? Why? Like here, right? Yes. Contact from Kamui. Yes! Fucking hell. Nope. Great, thanks Mr. Brickwall. I see. So how's Kamui been? Huh? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I said. What are you trying to say? He came here, right? Kamui. No way. 
I know you've made one. With Kamui. Why? A feeling. A feeling. You're accusing me based on just a feeling? Well, I am a detective. And that's all? I've got a good nose. I have a sharp sense of smell. It smells like a man's been here. Lots of people come and go. Of course it smells like that. Is that so? Well then. Well then what? <laughs> are we just going to look around or are we going to hassle a little more? Contact point. Ah, the computer. Let's uh, rifle through her bullshit. What's this? It was made, made at the studio about five years ago. Was it Cowboys? Kamui designed it, and I put it together. How nostalgic. Kamui, huh? Well, that's it, huh? What is it? Nothing, I guess. Guess I'll just keep looking around, huh? Do you know why I'm here? No. Your relationship with Kamui. Kamui's relationship with his three victims. It was a commonality not included in the file. You're beautiful. What is that? It's a fact. Are you hitting on me or something? After this gets worked, all get worked, gets worked out. That might be nice. In that case, I wanted to take Kamui in as soon as possible. Please help us. With what? You two. Are you being targeted? You two are being targeted. It was a thought that Kamui randomly targeted three women at first. However, when we look into their backgrounds, we found that all of them had some sort of contact with Kamui. His counsellor, his art school underclassman, and his client. They were all relatively close to him. And they were all beautiful. They may have been Kamui's type. We think that the person most likely to be targeted next is you, Miss Shimohira. That's interesting. Does that sort of reasoning stand? It isn't reason. It's a gut feeling. Same dip. Do these gut feelings usually pan out? They actually tend to. I mentioned that I had a good nose. I have bad ears though. So maybe it's because of that. But my sense of smell is sharp. No, it's just selected hearing, but not as sharp as a police dog, but I know Kamui was here. I can almost use see his image. Really? Yeah. How? While you were out. He broke in. It's possible. Is that all? Or... Yeah. Maybe. He's here. You're pretty sharp. What a detective. You're really good at your job, aren't you? Bruce, look. Is it the cupboard? Come on. This is... Yep. No way. Yes way. Cowboy? I told him to stay hidden. You tied him up and gagged him. You did? Yes. Why? He's a killer, right? Yes. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Back to the precinct. Same day. Office 24. 4.57 p.m. Well, at least we're still alive. Thought the lady was going to murder us for a moment there. Record investigation room. Okay. Records investigation. So that's Kamui. The legend himself is right before our eyes. He's keeping quiet. Keeping quiet? I get the impression that he can't speak. A phasic defect? Just like his medical report. Hyposthenic disorder. Damn. He'll be taken away by the medical goods. We can buy time. We'll lock down the situation. I'll prevent info from getting through this to Central. Please do. We're counting on you. What about the woman who found him? In the meeting room. How is she? 
Nothing particularly to, particular to report. She doesn't seem too shaken up. No. She's got some balls on her, that one. She'd hold her own against Hachisuka. Hachisuka, stay with her. We don't know when she'll suddenly lose it. Lose it? She says she locked Kamui up in order to kill him. Kill him? What are you talking about? Revenge. As her partner, he betrayed her. And he started killing again, too. Those three women. And why didn't she just hurry up and kill him? Yeah. The target is... The target of her vengeance is right in front of her. So she wanted to kill him so badly. Killing a person isn't so simple. Just keeping an eye on her. For, keep an eye on her for the time being. Okay. Sumio. Any changes? Nothing in particular. Just a few more mouth movements. You can lip read, can't you? So what's the word? The word shelter over and over. Shelter. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Maybe some sort of guidance? The shelter area. Wanna go check it out? No, it may be a trap. We can't move lightly. That's true. A clue. If Kamui can't speak, then further detainment may be pointless. Yeah, I agree. We're getting nothing from Kamui. Apart from the fact that he killed someone. Then maybe we shouldn't s hand him over to Central. We can't do that. We can't? According to Naka, Central knows we've captured Kamui. How does Central know? He's here on Central's orders. What? What's Central trying to... Maybe they're purposely keeping him at arm's length. In some sort of scheme. Scheme? What is this, a TV show? So it's the end of the line. Can we get anything from the girl who found him? It would be dangerous to get her close to Kamui. It'll be fine. She won't kill him or anything. She did try to kill him. You know. Hold on. But she didn't kill him, did she? Are we sure she really was trying to kill him? Why would she have to lock him up in her house? And why was she the only one Kamui didn't kill? Apparently he was passed out in front of her door. Maybe he was too exhausted from all that action. That doesn't make sense. Maybe it is that he didn't kill her, but that he couldn't kill her. That's how he was found. I wouldn't be surprised if he simply wasn't able to kill her. That's not it. Kamui's been like that for a long time now. Even ever since he escaped. Yeah. He isn't capable of killing anyone like that. He had a weapon. That's not what I mean. He's not physically unable. Physically? What about his medical records? I checked them. What did they say? A lot. No, I mean about his condition when he was apprehended. Hypersthenic disorder. Incapable of living on his own. Well then, how was he able to escape? Maybe he was faking it. Do you think he'd be able to pull modern tactical medical technology? He may be a criminal, but... Yes, that would be impossible. Yeah, that's just his, his shell. He doesn't have the power to kill anyone. He hasn't killed anybody. We're talking about Kamui, though. He isn't some kind of ghost yet. He's just a man. A legend is a legend. Well then, who? No way. What was Kamui doing while he was on the run? He was locked up. Why would he need to be locked up? In order to make the crimes look like Kamui had committed them. Bingo. Hachisuka? Shit! Um, uh-oh. <laughs> Did someone just get murdered? She really wanted to kill him, huh? I'm sorry, she got away. Oh, Christ. I'll contact the medical unit. Let's go, Bruce. There's only one place Ayame would go. The shelters. Well, this is ending up being a very, 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 very long chapter. Same day. Shelter ex exhibition hall. 7.50 p.m. Investigation. Okay. It's actually pretty big. The only shelter exhibition area in the country. She's 
gonna be. She's gonna be here. Bruce, let's split up and look for her. I'll check around from the back. You start checking from the front. Keep in contact via radio. Okay, this is a bit different. You got the what? Oh, okay. Interesting. Movement. It's not much in here. We can't go through that door for the look of it. It would say contact point if there was anything here worthwhile, so. There's nothing here. Okay, shelter two. What am I looking for? I'm just looking for the woman. Inside the shelter. Just looking for the woman. Shelter number two. Movement, please. Thank you. This is exactly the same. There's nothing here. Oh, something here. What are you doing? I'm on the lookout. My mummy is gone. I'm looking for her here. I know she'll come here. There's nobody at home. And it's kind of fun here. That's fucked up. See you later. Thanks, small child that scares the crap out of me. I'll see you later. Alright, that's shelter number two done. There was a small, small scary child here and nothing else. Shelter three. So this is just a bit of fucking about, but it's all going to be the same every time. Movement. Not a sausage in this one, as usual. And then this way. Nada. This way. Nada. Alright, that's it. Shelter number four now. Shelter three was a time waster, wasn't it? Okay, shelter four. We're halfway. Ah, here we go, something here. Another small child. Have you seen my doll? It went away. It's such a cute doll. I've been looking for it, but I can't find it. And mummy won't come home. I'm gonna get in trouble, but I came here by myself to look. That's okay, right? Probably not, but I'm not gonna tell you off. I'm not your mum. That's kind of her job. <laughs> not mine. Nothing here. Nothing here, and we are done ski. Alright, on to shelter five, I suppose. Sorry, this is gonna take a little while. I know it's not super entertaining either, but you know. How's it going, Bruce? What the hell? Looks like we have to check out check one more time. Get on it. What do you mean I'm check one more time? I got lots to do. Damn it, Bruce, you've been listening. You take the shelters in front. Let me say it again. What the hell, Bruce? You need something? Get back to your own area. 
Check one more time. Okay, I'll go back into shelter four, I guess. So we can only do one to four. Very well. We'll work our way backwards this time. Movement, please. Maybe I should have started at one after all. We'll do one after this one. Oh look, there's something here. I don't know. I don't know anything. I didn't hear anything. The scary person comes. And it's so scary. And so, I was hiding here. So they won't find me. Where is the scary person? What shelter is scary person in? I need to know. Alright, well that worked out. That was a different thing. So we'll do three. Wow, well, you find anything? Okay, that's enough of that area. So you get two shelters to the left of the one in the back. What? Check the two shelters to the left of the one in the back. I'll meet up with you later. Get on it. What is the two shelters to the left of the one in the back, babe? That doesn't even make sense. Is that a Bruce even listening? The shelter in the back. Two to the left. Oh, okay. Didn't really explain it very well, you sack of shit. So shut up five and six, why didn't you just say that? Could have just said shut up five and six. Rather than being a testy little bitch. <laughs> nice work. What, you still don't get it? Our mark is in the back there. Anyway, you really helped. This is my job from here on. Bruce, it sucks, huh? Not being able to protect the one that you love? Whatever you say, dude. How clever of you. I'm a detective, so... Nice work. Thanks. Kill me. I'd be happy to have you kill me. Are you coming on to me? Yes. After this is all over, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Let's hurry and finish this. I can't kill you. Let me go. I can't. Hurry. I can't. Even if I kill the kids? Don't do it. Then you better shoot. I can't do that either. Aren't you a man? Yeah, but I don't like this. What? This kind of thing. Are you nervous? That's not what I mean. Then what? Leaving things incomplete? Like this? Incomplete what is? Kind of slower. Me. Yeah. Slow. Slow. Things will be incomplete. For me too. I'm kind of happy. Really? Yeah. Okay then, can I ask you something? What? Age. You mean like my age? Yes. Why? Just because. You're asking the lady her age? I wasn't really able to ask before, so... 26. Same as me. You're 26? Yeah, so there's no need to be extra polite. Is that why you were so courteous? Well, I didn't want to be rude. That's weird. Yeah, it is. Those kids. Hmm? They're Kabui's kids. What? The kids of those women. I killed. Three of them. So I got my revenge. I was so sad. I thought about killing the kids too, but... I couldn't. That's good. I hope so. I mean, murdering someone... You really are kind of slow, huh? I'm so glad I met you. Don't! Our friend. No, our brother. He's in there. 
I can hear him. Oh yeah, he's laughing. Now, what's wrong? No, it's nothing. I thought I saw something in Kamui's expression. In this plastic mask? Yeah. He looked really sad. Morikawa, you're such a romanticist. And good at making stuff up too. No, seriously. Just now, look. April 29th, 1999, Thursday. IMM Hospital. Okay. At least I know this place to some extent. 9.15 a.m. Custody Centre. Mmm, custard. <laughs> Good old custard. Ayami Shimahira just admitted to a string of crimes. She will likely get the death penalty. Kamui's children have been put into a facility. And the secret of Kamui's birth has finally been discovered. Finally? Yes. It was designated top secret, so it was pretty tough. And there were casualties, but someone got killed? Four people. Fuck. So where was it found? An FSO paper company. FSO? Remnants of the Frontier Conserv Conservationalists? You mean the Frontier Conservation Alliance? That's their old name, but yes. The ghost of the SFO. FSO, sorry. They had Carboy. They managed to. That's where we learned where Carboy was from. The file says Cape Carboy. Complete fabrication. So was ID. They just made that up. Carboy was born in the shelters. Shelters? You mean those shelters? The shelters ki shelter kids policy. I don't know about the details, but I assume the goal was personal development via management training. Raising them into special people who can survive in specialised environments. Possibly. You hear a lot of that stuff on the east side. 20 years ago that project was put to action. When Kabu was 4 years old. So he was raised in the shelters. The shelters exhibition area opened 12 years ago. Doesn't match up. The exhibition area was in secondary use, after it had served its original purpose. And so Kamui's kids found themselves in the shelters, tracing back their father's memory. Is that even possible? I don't know. But Kamui is known to favour those shelters. Why? His favourite place closely resembles those shelters. Where? Solitary confinement. The reason Kamui seeks out the darkness and likes being locked up lies in his upbringing. As a child, he lived in a wide open, yet stifling environment. As he got a bit older, Kamui's hometown became the shelters. A sullen, dark world where the sunlight can't reach. He felt comfortable in that noisy and isolated world. People are attracted to the underground. Are they? Take this job. This is a world full of, world of isolation. It's sometimes hard to breathe. Yeah. Maybe he saw a miniature version of the world in those shelters. What are you, a poet? Slap him for it. Alright, we're going back this way now. Hey Tetsu. Oh, you're here. You're looking good, big dick. Tetsu. You're back on the job from today, huh? Yeah, finally back to work. It's a stakeout. Yeah. We don't have enough people. Well, so it ended up not being much use, huh? Tetsu, maybe we should... Yeah, I know. Let's hurry. I'll show you how it's done. Big Dick, hurry up! Is that going to be the end of the chapter then? Seems like a good time to stop it. That was a long chapter though. Yeah, that's the end. Awesome, well I'm going to break this into two episodes. Two. They're still going to be long episodes, but they'll be broken. It'll break. This will be part two of this chapter.
and they'll still be <laughs> like 40, 41, 44, 42 minute episodes. So yeah, settle in for log ones everybody, because they might all be like this. I don't really know, but I'll try to keep it from being too long on a single day. And we will save, and I'll wrap this one up here. And in the next episode, we can hit the next chapter, whatever that chapter is. Thanks for watching, Bruce. I'll see you in the next one.